Kaling wrote and co-stars in a new comedy about sexism in TV in the Me Too era. Emma Thompson plays a fictional broadcasting legend, and Kaling plays a new writer. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon gives us his review. She was the first female late-night talk show host on a major network. Emma Thompson is believable enough as a host, and that is enough to make late-night entertaining at times. Tom Cruise is the same age as me. He gets to fight the mummy. I am the mummy. As the film opens, the rush is on to hire a woman for the show's all-male writer's room. Enter Molly Patel. Who are you? I'm a new writer. A new female writer. She doesn't have any comedy experience. Her last job was at a chemical plant. Now, there is no circumstance in which such a person would be hired for a network TV show. It's just too far beyond the realm of possibility. Although I did enjoy watching these two share the screen. What exactly is wrong with my bits? You're a little old and a little white. What can I do about that? All her Emmys can't keep Catherine Newbery relevant. The network boss wants to replace her with a crude comic, so the host decides to double down and start caring about her own show again. Think about why the show is bad and come up with ways to fix it. Any resemblance to how such a program actually gets produced is purely coincidental. And we don't see enough of Mindy Kaling in this movie, which is odd because she's the person who wrote it. I need you, Molly, to help me change this show. No more tantrums and no withering looks. Like that one. Catherine is married to a man played by John Lithgow, a talented star who is wasted here without much to do. A romantic subplot involving a co-worker has a high ick factor, and it just seems odd in a movie about female empowerment and friendship. <laughs> Late Night is a movie I really tried to like but just couldn't. It's so important to ponder why talk shows still lack diversity behind the scenes. But here, the details just didn't seem real enough to buy the larger message.